friends, how are you doing today? So in this video, we are going to talk about the foundation models. So basically, the foundation model is one of the basic model being built and created by different companies like AWS, IBM, Azure, Google Cloud, all those companies. So basically, foundation model uh, is uh, having this decoder option, basically decoder architecture that gets all the data and then produces different types of output like a text, strings and image and 3D model, all those types. So these um, outputs are produced by this foundation model. Basically, when it comes to creating and training this foundation model, these organizations put a lot of effort to create, create this foundation model. Basically, what happens when an organization creates this foundation model, they get trillions of data to train this model to produce this kind of output like text, image, 3D model and audio or video files. And this is kind of a base and with this uh, foundation model you cannot uh, go and uh, use assets for your organization to produce everything. You must need to customize it. So for that what happens when your organization plans to create a generative AI model or if you are in an AI project, your organization hires this uh, data scientist to understand one of these uh, famous uh, foundation models produced by these organizations. So if you take uh, AWS, AWS produces one of the foundation models and um, IBM produced Granite as the foundation model and Meta produced um, Llama as one of the greatest foundation models. All these foundation models were trained with trillions and trillions of data. And uh, once these uh, models were released, most of the organizations who are in the journey of creating a project, what they will do, they buy this foundation model from this organization and customize it and use it for their organization. For example, if you are producing a content, like you know, creating a blog with pictures, images, and audio and video files, you may take these foundation models and customize it and create the generative AI model for your organization to produce the blocks with uh, contents like uh, images, audio and video and text files. And uh, these uh, models are available for everyone to use. And this is the key for most of the organizations to produce other generative AI models. And uh, what are all the areas that uh, these uh, foundation models are applicable? One is that uh, customer success, um, customer service um, engagements, customer support, and second one is creating the content, audio and video content, creating the graphics content. And in case of you are creating a 3D model, all these areas are some of the areas to uh, use this foundation model and uh, build your own generative model, AI model on top of this. And also when it comes to answering like uh, question and answering, in case of medicine field, if you are uh, asking question about particular disease and getting to know about the answer for that particular disease and uh, remediation for the particular disease, uh, this has this Q&A or question and answering uh, base from the foundation model. So as an organization, you can uh, get this foundation model and train for your uh, medicine field so that uh, the generative AI model, which will be produced based on your uh, customized uh, output will get you the customized um, uh, result for you. So this is how most of the organizations now working on to build their own generative AI model with the help of this foundation model. Basically, if you want to understand the foundation model in simple terms, you can get, compare this foundation model with the soil. So if you take a soil and if it is um, perfectly blended and made it for uh, producing plants, vegetables, you can create a plant bed using that soil and create the vegetables, right, uh, produce the vegetables. And similarly, the same soil can be good enough for constructing the building. And simil uh, this, is, this is how you can um, build a strong building on top of the soil. So basically, the foundation model is similar to the soil, wherein you can take the soil which has prepared and kept it ready for you to build a house or build a plant bed or whatever. And it will produce a output accordingly based on your specific need. In case of uh, if you are putting that uh, plant bed with the help of this uh, soil, it will produce vegetables for you. And uh, if you are going to use that soil to construct a building, it will create a, a strong building for your 
organization or your home. So, this is how the foundation model is uh, related with the real time example. And uh, as a scientist, as a data scientist, you are the one use this foundation model heavily and the solution architect who works with you to build the overall solution for your organization. For example, if you are building a customer support system and if you are going to modernize the customer support system for your organization, what you will do, you solution as a solution architect, you solution the entire system of where the data is coming from, what is the source of the data and how the data is processed and how the data is fed into this uh, generative AI model which was developed by your data scientist using this uh, um, foundation model and once after getting the output, how you are passing the output back to the uh, user or where you are storing the output. These are all the things that as a solution architect you will decide uh, or design during the uh, implementation process or during the designing and uh, implementation process in an organization. So, this is how the solution architect and the data scientist work together for building a generative AI solution for any organization. And this is a quick overview about uh, what exactly the foundation model is and uh, how the foundation model is related to the real time uh, analogy to remember. And as a data scientist, how the foundation models are being used and who are all the major foundation model creators in the current world and uh, how uh, an organization will create their own generative AI model and get benefit out of it with the help of this foundation model and what exactly the solution architect's role here to work with the data scientist. Hope you can uh, get some knowledge or idea about uh, how exactly the foundation model are being used, how the generative AI models are generated, how a solution architect uh, is working with data scientists to do this type of work. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it to your friends so that they will also get benefit out of it. Take care. Bye.